Welcome back everybody to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 5. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support you guys left on the last episode. I truly appreciate it. And actually, talking about the last episode, we actually got to go to the nether and we got to go in the jungle and we found one of those temples and got some basic loot. And talking about the loot, we did get an enchanted book with a curse of vanishing and that actually is anytime that's binded to a any of these like kind of weapons or whatever you want to enchant it with. Uh, anytime you die that item with the curse of vanishing will disappear forever in the world so that's what it was i was confused in the last episode if it was good or bad it's not really too helpful for us but without further ado let's get started in today's episode because we're going to go do some farming not just anything but farming we're actually going to build our barn and we do have a structure for that is that right scooby-doo yes that's right so let's actually give scooby-doo a little snack here there we go and he actually might come with us to our barn over there as you guys can see that is the barn i actually been working on kind of building the structure of it recently so that it's a little bit easier for us to get right into the episode as you guys know this barn is going to be kind of keeping all our animals in there so it's gonna be pretty nice and as you guys can see this magical uh bridge has appeared out of nowhere from the last episode there was no bridge and uh that was actually during a stream on youtube gaming if you guys don't know i am actually streaming a lot more on YouTube gaming now so make sure you guys get that notification by hitting that bell near the subscribe button so anytime I do stream you will get that little notification but we actually worked on this during the whole stream and we did get some uh, supplies as well for the barn as you guys can see so it's, it's been a pretty awesome time I love doing the streams and hopefully you guys ha who haven't seen it yet make sure and stop by but yeah this is the bridge let me know what you guys think about it I think it really suits this whole theme really well all right let's just get all our supplies with us and we're going to go to the barn that I have so far in the process. It's not done yet, and I don't think we're going to finish it in today's episode. That's for sure. But we're going to try our best. We have some animals over there as well that we're going to most likely bring in the barn. Uh, the roofing is probably going to be done off screen or probably during a stream because that is probably the most hectic part out of them all. It is really difficult. And talking about that, I want to bring uh, some actual... Instead of using the oak... Uh, what's it called? Oak fence? I want to use spruce fence i think spruce fence would look much nicer and by the way this house is getting way too small for us and i think it's going to be time for us to uh probably go on and build our new home in the next few episodes is it really turning night we have half a day left all right let's make the most of it guys uh let's go grab our horse as well hey man wait how the heck did you get hold on is there a way for him to get out how the heck did you get out of here dude you are not gonna be you just nope that's bad that is so bad you are not allowed to do that again <laughs> i'm actually surprised there's like no way he could possibly have gone out of here whatever all right let's go we're gonna go with our unnamed horse so far both these horses are not gonna be named yet like i mentioned we're gonna wait a little bit more till i get another name tag because i used the name tag on scooby-doo so yeah but check out this barn everybody let me know what you think about it it's really simple i really like it it brings in a lot of like just some color to this world which is nice and we do have some cows and sheep that we found guys if you guys don't know during the streams we had trouble finding sheep but if you're on this world no fear no more there are tons of sheep right across here so if you find this area that i'm building in if you go in that direction there's literally uh, like a squad goals so many sheep over there <laughs> it's fantastic and then uh, we have just two cows and the cows were pretty much from like around here so that we're going to use those we're going to breed them and they're going to be in here living happily ever after um you know kind of away from all the dangers of this world and then we're going to have some horses i think we might even make a, uh, a stable but i think it's good enough to keep uh you know the horse here with everyone and this horse has been like walking around here for quite some time now so you know what we're gonna actually put them in here i think it's a good idea just to kind of close them in here so we don't like lose them so you guys can just uh become friends and yeah so uh enjoy all right so let's go do what we got to do it looks like we still have half a day which is not too bad and uh right now i'm just gonna honestly i'm just gonna start blocking everything in right now it's gonna be the easiest quickest process and i might not like i said i'm probably not gonna complete the whole barn in today's episode but it could be possible so we're gonna give it a shot and see how far we can take this but the roofing will not happen in this episode i'm telling you guys me and roofs do not bond it's just it's just one of those uh nightmares they never work out for me during recording it's absolutely a nightmare you have no idea so if we can get at least most of this done then we can start working on the interior which is always the best part i'm thinking for the interior because it's a pretty tall barn i want to add a second level and the second level is not going to be for animals of course it's going to be for like hay bills and anything else that you, know, you would see in a barn just to add that little bit of uh design not really like maybe maybe some things that might work out for the better but mostly just design 
So uh, I think it'll be kind of cool to do that. So we'll see if we can get to that. That will probably be like during a stream or during any other uh, recording that we're going to do. And by the way, talking about streaming, I am enjoying doing that. So um, I like having this series as the stream series. And that's how you guys can see how much like progress has been done on this world so far. Um, during the streams, I actually do a lot of progress on uh, the Survival Let's Play. So it does help out a lot. And I think it's the perfect balance uh, to kind of have streams and working on Survival Let's Play because people can actually see I am doing all this myself and, and working hard to get this world looking looking amazing. So, um, yeah, that's that. All right, actually, I kind of messed up. This piece should not be... I think this top piece is going to be quartz. And the reason why I'm going with quartz is because I tried to use uh, white clay, but white clay does not look like shiny as this. So I figured we're just going to go with the quartz here, uh, and which reminds me, let's get the quartz and let's just go all around here i think we might even try to build the roof i mean we'll see how how well this actually works for us but the roof is not just going to be like a simple kind of flat roof i want to add some other big windows in the side but for now i usually like to build things like in a simple aspect oh wait we should put stairs right i'm thinking about that i feel like you know what it could be a good idea to make court stairs possibly because then we could actually save up. I mean, it's not really saving up on a lot of quartz, but it does help. I think you can make quartz stairs, right? Yeah, you can. Ooh, this is tough. Let's actually make a few and then figure out what's the best way to go about this. Because I don't really have... If you guys can see, I don't... I mean, I, let me try. Let's, let's see how it looks. I feel like it might look weird or it might look really good. And I don't know what to think of it yet because I have not ever like done block roofing like this. So... I think it could probably be a better idea just to build it like this. I think I think this will be a better roof. And when it comes to this type of stuff, yeah, this type of roofing takes so much time. And for me, it's always a pain because it never works out too well. So with the roofing, we're going to do this during the stream. I think that's the best bet. But I, I kind of like doing the roof like this. And if you guys have any other ideas, possibly maybe changing the roof to actually wood, please let me know because honestly, I think... It would be kind of cool to have uh, wood roofing as well, besides just having all quartz. But I do like just have the, the sing single theme of just red and white. And by the way, I do have an iron axe that has fortune 1 and efficiency 2, which I'm quite proud of. It's quite a rare find. And uh, let's go back to our home real quick and get some sleep because I hate working in the night. It's one of those things that just it's not a good combination. And none of that stuff is a good combination. So let's just run quickly or actually use the horse to get there quickly. Which I love this horse. He's so quick. And it was like kind of lucky too. I, I wasn't expecting to find a horse uh, that was this quick and like just a matter of just guessing and seeing. But I guess that's trial and error. But look at this bridge. You can go right through it with a horse and have no issue. All right. Stay over here, dude. Let's go get some sleep quickly. There we go. Look where he's going. He's going to his friend right now. All right. All right, Scooby. You can come along with us. Let's go. Follow me. Where is he going? All right. So Scooby-Doo is going to follow us. Is he, is, I think he's going to be able to follow us. Is he like not going to, is he like stuck? What, what's up with this dude? Oh, geez, horse, what are you doing? All right. You know what? Hopefully he does follow me. It doesn't look like he does. Look at this. Where's he going? He has like a mind of his own right now. All right. You know what? You're going to sit over here and we're going to go back. I don't know what's up with Scooby. Stop rooting the crops. Jeez, what's up with this horse loving the crops? Obviously it's his food, but like still enough horse. I don't know what's up with Scooby. I don't know if he's, uh, he's trying to betray us. What is this all about? <laughs> no, he's probably fine, but, uh, all right, this is looking good. Ooh, that, I'm not sure, no wait, actually, no, we're gonna add, like, the overhang, I think the overhang is what, what's making this look a little bit weird, and I'm trying to think, I could possibly add, from what it looks like, we could make those red clay blocks as well but i'm not liking the staircases going exactly like that and i think the defining uh decision is going to be either these are going to be wooden stairs or we're going to have the overhang which will look nice overhang will look nice all right so let's get ourselves a ch oh what oh we don't have horse armor for him all right let's go put you back in here with your friend all right you stay there all right let's go so i'm thinking that's what we're going to do and also the side like i said this is going to be all designed but for now i think it's good enough for what we did for just working on the barn it's very simple as you can see from the outside but this is like all roofing that we're gonna have to do during a stream and that's just never fun uh it's just difficult and tedious but we will do it during a stream and i'll probably do it actually um in a few days if anything or even possibly i probably will do this because i'm pre-recording this so i could be doing it actually i already probably have it done maybe who knows all right so let's start working with bringing in our animals so let's start working with the interior design here so i want to have everything lined up so we're just going to make it simple and i think it's enough space to make it like this is that like enough space for them 
I don't want to make it exactly where it's lined up. So I think this is a perfect way to go. We're just going to go all the way down like this. And obviously, I'm going to make gates and everything. But this is like the easiest way just to get a simple design in place. And I want to have chickens in here. I want to have cows, pigs, and maybe horses. But I think horses might go on uh, a different area, which we might connect to here or something. There's going to be a lot of stuff building in this direction, too, that's connected to the farm. This whole corner is going to be like farmland. So it, it should look quite nice. So let's see. What else can we do? So we should split this up, I think, in half. And I think this is all symmetrical, which is nice. That's awesome. Perfect. There we go. And we can put the gates kind of like somehow also symmetrical, which will help. So let's do that. We'll put one over here. But I think we have to make it double because cows and other animals only fit through two. Or is it one? I don't know. For now, we're just going to go and keep it with having just one gate. And I think that should work, hopefully. And if that doesn't work, we'll just add two gates. But I think I think we should be fine. And then let's close this up here. And we could do a little bit of design too and not just keep it so simple. I think that's kind of cool, kind of just breaking it all up. Yeah, I like that design. Okay. And then we obviously can't do anything here, so we're just going to leave it like that for now. But I do like that. We're going to add, like, leaves, water. Do we have any bones by any chance on us? No, okay. I was going to use bone meal to, to actually make it all look nice. But that's okay. That's for another episode, if anything, or stuff that I'll do off screen. And let's close this part up, too. Let's put the gate. And we could actually probably bring in the cows and the sheep. And the sheep are going to be really important because I actually do want to use a lot of wool um, on this uh, survival let's play world. Just for, like, other projects I do have in mind. So, okay, that works fine. All right, so I feel like this is big enough. I mean, just four pens is enough for now. So let's go ahead and bring... Let's go bring the cows because we do have our wheat. I mean, we do, I mean, all these animals kind of are going to follow us anyway, so follow me to your new home. Cows, you're not interested anymore? What is this? What is this? Are they just not interested anymore? Here. Bam. Okay, I cat your attention again? Yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go. Let's go, squad. Guys, this is squad goals right here. As you can see, you have all the comforts of living here, quite safe and sound from any other. Where's, where, where's the other sheep? Oh my gosh, where'd you go? All right, everyone, come inside here. Let me just get this sheep. Sheep, come on, let's go. Follow me. Look at him. What are you what are you trying to say here? Are oh, you eating grass? You don't want you don't want wheat anymore? This is how it's gonna be? You're the only sheep I have. I need one more. Let's go. Let's go. We're gonna have to push you in. Let's go. Come on, dude. Now you interested? There you go. Finally. Okay. I guess you got over the grass. Okay, come on now. Cool. Alright, now just stay here. I am gonna have to push you inside. Is this really how it's gonna have to work? Alright, just gonna block them in. And now we're good. So we have our animals in here, which is always the hardest part for me personally. And now it's time to put them inside. So uh, I think we do need to have a double gate. Uh, I think that's the only way they're actually going to go through. So let's actually get you in here. So you two come in here. Okay, it looks like the cow and the sheep are like friends right now. What is this? All right, so we have our cow in there. We're going to try to bring this cow. But for now, let's try to bring the sheep on this side. So we're going to have the sheep on this side. All right, let's go, guys. Follow me. You two, follow me in here. All right, this sheep just listens. I like that about him. This is the only one that actually listens. This one here is really stubborn. Look at him. He just doesn't want any of this. Okay, finally. All right, come inside. Come inside. There we go. Wow, that's a uh, that was a struggle. All right, this cow is just right awake. Let's go, man. Come inside. Let's go to your brand new lovely home. All right, so we have our barn already in development, which I'm pretty happy about. And we can actually start breeding these two. Let's go. Oh, wait. What? Can I not reach? Oh, my God. That's, that's just rip. All right. There we go. All right. And our sheep. Uh-oh. We have no more. Uh-oh. We got to go get some wheat quickly. This farm is also kind of just going to be our main food source farm. Because uh, in the past, I actually, if you guys don't know, the one on the hill down there. What? I thought I saw fire. <laughs> the one on the hill over there is really just the core. This is going to be the actual food source one that we're going to use. All right, and there we go. Perfect. So we have some more cows now, uh, and and we have some more sheep. So we're making progress already. I'm pretty happy. And yeah, that's, that's pretty good. All right, let's go and take this down. We don't need these here anymore. And then we're definitely going to be adding a lot more, like, kind of, like I said, decorations inside here. We're going to be adding the second roofing, kind of like a second level in here. And thinking about that, uh, I think I'm going to have just kind of ladders going upwards. So the ladders are just going to go up top here, and there's going to be a flat little roof up there with this middle part open. So it's going to be open. It's going to be almost like a big circle. 
uh, with the middle. But look how funny these sheep little like little and the sheep's are one of the funniest. Oh, we need llamas too. If you guys don't know, the llamas are um, really cool to have. I really want to have like a llama squad in here as well, just because they're they're pretty cool looking. And some chickens. Oh, that reminds me, I have a lot of chicken eggs. That's another thing I should have remembered. So we'll put the chickens in here. Hopefully we'll get a few. There we go. None of these escape, I'm pretty sure, so we should be fine. There we go. And we have, I think, a total of four chickens. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, so we have our chickens, we have our sheep, and we have our cows. And they're all living quite happily ever after right now. So far. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. I think we're going to be ending today's episode. I know we didn't do too much progress on the barn, but it does take time to get things developed. So, it's not always an easy, easy thing. But uh, we should actually do the inside real quick. Let's do this. I really want to do this inside, like the pathway like this. And we're actually going to have to... It's not going to be all, like, paved like this. We're going to add different blocks. And it's going to look really cool. I'll tell you guys that much. It's going to look pretty awesome. That looks pretty nice. And this pathway is going to continue down to the tower. Like I said, everything is going to connect to that tower. That's going to be, like, the center point. So it's going to look pretty nice. All right, there we go. I'm just going to build our simple path to all these gates. Awesome. So far, looking good. We have everything we need, pretty much. The sundown, look how beautiful that looks with inside this almost half-completed barn. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you guys later with another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And yeah, so see you guys next time. Peace out, and stay foxy.